All right, Joe. Well, I'm glad we're we're doing this under the hood series for Google My Business, and uh, yeah, I just I'm just gonna jump right in. So we just um, sold this great color bright painting of Long Island deal, and I'm always asked all these questions about Google My Business and like you know why how is it that you're gonna get me bumped up and I know some things about Google My Business, like I know about the photo tagging and the geo tagging, and I know um, filling out your full name, address, phone number, business hours. Like, but I guess I'm curious. Is I I want to know what is it that we're doing in the fulfillment here with, when it comes to GMB that is going to be different or better or more specific and unique than a big box agency like a Yellow Pages is going to do. You know, um, all right, Eric, well, why don't we do this? I know you, you, you know, before the call, you were telling me you were looking at the, the Google My Business. So we just, we have the, the one client color right painting. So um, why don't you, why don't we, you share my screen and pull up the, uh, the Google My Business. We'll just kind of go through some of the stuff that's in there. Okay, yeah, let's do it. So now I do have a video where I show how I set this up for people mm -hmm. who are watching. They can watch a more detailed video and then, um, on the actual tech, you know, um, technical side of it. But um, so let's go through. So right now we're in the Google My Business. We're at the home section. Um, looks like we're still waiting for a card to get this verified. But sure. go ahead and click over at the uh, info section on the left hand side. Sure. I just want to say for the record is I, I don't think I've ever actually been in one of these myself. It's kind of embarrassing, but it's also not. <laughs> So you've been, you've been selling SEO, Google My Business without ever being in, in it. Yeah. Well, let me, well, here's the truth, Joe. It's like, what do I care if my clients are getting great results and my team and the fulfillment is utilizing, you know, fusion and, you know, traffic tsunami to like absolutely get number one. Like really, what do I care? I know I'm, I know I'm delivering results. Yeah. And I think that that says a lot too, because I think a lot of people get stuck up stuck up, stuck on, <laughs> like, like if they on selling, like yeah. selling, I think is people get afraid of that, right? They're like, oh, I don't want to like, um, them selling is, a um, you know, it, it's like, they don't want to go out and sell unless they know everything. Like I got to know everything about SEO, this and that. So they get stuck in this learning mode where yeah. they learn, learn, learn before they go out and sell. But like what you're doing is you're just, you're, you're going out and selling, closing the deals. And then either getting someone to help you fulfill or learning how to fulfill it. I think that's a big lesson for people to. Oh, absolutely. Well, let's put it like this, Joe. You could explain everything that you're about to explain to me, to your prospect. And they'll probably like get really bored and hang up or not care at all. So typically here's, we're pretty much going to fall into two categories. Like, Hey, I'm really like listening to you, Joe, because I, I like you, trust you, want to listen to you, believe you, and they'll go through it with you. And typically you're not going to need to walk them through everything you're going to do. Uh, or somebody will, will be like, yeah, show me everything you're doing, buddy. And then what will end up happening is like, yeah, I'm already doing that. Like, it's just not going to help you to do that. What will, what will really help you is to have the confidence to know you guys are going to kill it because the confidence that you have in your voice is, is going to make a way bigger difference than the technical knowledge you can you know, spout to them. Because literally I just spoke to this guy yesterday and he was talking, he had uh, he was working with a company called Haibu, which is like a yellow pages uh, remnant company. And he was saying, the problem is, is that they tell me like, just trust me. But even if they were to actually explain it to me, I would have no way of understanding and comparing and evaluating what is they're saying to me. And that's how most businesses are. They actually just, they need to be able to trust someone who's going to do a great job. And so if you follow these, the fusion protocol and you, you know, traffic tsunami and all that kind of stuff, whatever it is that you're using to fulfill, then you are going to know that this is like, you're doing the best things, the most effective things that you could possibly do to rank this person. And I know for a fact that there's absolutely no way that a company who's like a yellow pages or whatever has somebody who like authentically truly cares about the success of this company because they either know the company they're working with care about them or like they're directly like, you know, Joe, if you don't do a good job for someone, they're going to stop paying you. But if a big like yellow pages type company doesn't do a good job, the person who's running their account doesn't lose anything. In fact, like they're not incentivized to do a good job at all. So you are. So one, you want to do a good job because you love people and you want to help businesses. And two, 
you're going to get paid for doing a great job. So you got all the alignment here when it comes to this. So yeah, let's, let's let me, why don't you just walk me through. Yeah. And then too, things. like just to go back yeah. to what you're saying about the technical part, actually, if you get too technical and I did this when I first started selling at my agency yeah. um, is I would go in and I would get technical people and I lo would lose them like that. Oh, like their totally. eyes are glaze over and I would coach. <laughs> So like, it's actually the less technically you get the better, but, um, so I love that point. So let's get into it. So yeah, go ahead and scroll, scroll all the way so we can get to the top here. Scroll down. All right, cool, man. All right. So the first thing we do, like, if you look at the title right there, it's color bright painting, but I put of Long Island because what I want is I want them to come up for painting company in Long Island. Like that's, yep. that's my big keyword. You, now, yeah, you gotta be careful about that. Like their business is color bright painting. So I talked to them ahead of time and I yeah. said, listen, do you mind putting like of Long Island on your website? And they don't mind that because what will happen is, is Google might check that, that the name matches the website. Yeah. So, um, but having that Long Island there will help me get in the, in the three pack and Google my business. Yeah. It's like title tag right there. Yeah, it's like, like you, a, it's like onsite SEO. Yeah. If you type in like painter Long Island, Every everyone that shows up in those top three are going to have Long Island in, in their in their title. Um, so that's a big thing. Like a lot of people don't know. I did not know that. <laughs> now I knew. Yeah, I just I thought it was magic in some ways, but we had the magic. That's what I yeah. thought. Well, and then here's something cool that's new. You see that service areas? Go ahead and click you can on have the, more than one. Yeah, click on the edit. Oh, sorry. Yeah, there, go ahead. on the edit button. And so what? what Google business used to have is if you were service like this painting company, you know, they don't service people at their address. They, they travel. So they would say like, okay, you could put in a radius. So it'd have to be like 60 mile radius around. Yeah. Green yeah. Lawn, right. Um, but now they're actually letting you put in your service areas in this particular company. You know, they don't really want to service all long Island because there's some really like, yeah, they less, want to service the less, high end, less rich people there. Yeah, yeah. I got it. So they, 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 what they want, they want the high end. They're a high end painting company, so they want the high end town. So we're able to pinpoint those cities that they want right here. So go ahead hey, in there. Joe, pause. Yeah. Hold on one second. But just for the record, like, can they put in like infinite? How does that work? Yeah, I mean they could put in as many. Like you want to put in your service area. Like you don't want to go crazy, like, but you do want to put in like your service area. So what yeah. we're doing is we're putting in the towns around Long Island or, or that they want to Yeah, serve. Don't get greedy essentially though. Right. Right. So here's the thing. What you want to try to put a t something in there? Yeah. What just, about, um, what about Hempstead? Do they do Hempstead? Hempstead? Nope. So you just put in Hempstead. Okay. What about, um, why'd you put in old Southampton? What Dude. about old Westbury? Yeah, that's in there. We did that. Oh, already. it is? Yeah. Put in Southampton. Uh, okay. Uh, New York. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's, that's yeah, it. of course. This is the Hamptons, bro. Right. That's but, it. Wait, Old West. Oh, Old Westbury's in there. Yeah, that's a good area. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. Apply? So, yeah, and just hit apply. Now, I'm not from Long Island, Joe, but yeah. I am from New York City, of course. So, yeah. All right, cool. So, this is pretty solid. So, that's pretty good. Special now, special hours. Yeah. So now here's the thing, what I do with the hours and, and I talked about this in the vi video when I made this, the, um, you know, the training video, but so I talked to them again and I was like, listen, we could put nine to five on here, but what happens in Google, my business is when someone searches it, it'll show closed on there. And it, and it kind of almost feels like that business is closed. Well, or it's just like, they're not going to call. Like, it's like, okay, I'm not going to call. Like they're closed. So why yes, should I call yes, 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 yes. So I said, let's put in 24 hours. You'll always look like you're open. And then when someone calls, it, it goes to voicemail anyway, if you're not answering the phone. Yep. And you now I suggest you only do this obviously for a service business. I wouldn't do this for a brick and mortar. Oh, hell no. Hell no. But, and then two is you always want to talk to the client ahead of time. You know, you always want oh, yeah. before you do that. Like this is kind of on a client to client 
basis. Mm. You don't want to just arbitrarily. Do yeah. That. You um, tell them your strategy. So, cause imagine like if I looked at, I'm not open 24 hours. Joe doesn't have the right number for me. Oh God. Like yeah. they're going to, they're going to say that. But if you say, Hey, I'm going to put, I'd like to put you in for 24 hours. And that way you're more likely to get phone calls when someone's searching at night rather than have them not even approach right. you at all. Right. Yeah. So yeah. Excellent. Exactly. So um, right. And then here's where, no, one thing where people get confused is the category on the top is painting. Yep. So then they're like, sometimes you try to put every, everything in there. Like we have another restoration uh, company, precision mold removal is, is one of our over the shoulders and traffic tsunami. And like the only category I have for that is water damage. But then if I go down here, to the service area, that's where you put the mold and all the other services that the company provides. So when it comes to services here, like I guess what I'm saying, what's the rhyme or reason be, behind how many services you put in here, right? Like if well, you're you a just want to put every service that they do. So like if someone's looking up exterior painter in Long Island, right? It's a good, like what I want to do is I want to put that keyword in my Google, my business, wherever I can. So yeah. I want to make sure all their services are listed here. So they have a better chance of coming out. Uh, let's go over to the, let's go over to the description. Cause this is where it ties in, like wanting to have your keywords. All right. So if we go down to where the description is, the other thing about the description on the bottom, which is right here, right? So you're going to see that it's like, um, so like, if you look at the description right here, um, you're not going to get a lot of people that they are going to read it. You are going to get some people that will read it. So you want it to sound good right? You want it to sound like it makes sense. So, so you want to make sure that you have your keywords in here. So the way this is written is it says, you know, Colorbright Painting is a full service painting company. That's a keyword located in Long Island, New York. That's another keyword. keyword. We're a family business that has been painting homes, right? In Suffolk County, like Nassau County, New York. So those are two, those are more keywords for over 50 years. And then I go on to list the installation, the, in, um, the services that they provide, which is interior painting, exterior painting, wallpaper installation, staining, power washing. That way I have the keywords in there again in the cities again. Now they don't have to be like, you don't want to stuff this to where it's like, um, you yeah, you, want to, yeah, you don't want to stuff it. I get it. You right, put in the most important services. Sense, right, but you don't have to have exterior painting Long Island, like all together. Yeah. You just have to have it inside the description. Yep. Yep. You know, yeah, okay, I got this. So, so Joe, we're here. All right, so we just edited this, uh, this description here. It's a good right. description, nice and, and keyword rich. So if you, I mean, this is like a tough question, or maybe it isn't. If you were to rate like in order potentially of the most important like on on site optimization for this Google my business listing, like I it sounds like you're hundred percent clear from what I'm he saying hearing right now that like the name of your business plus um of Long Island, like this is probably the number one thing that's gonna help you in terms of on site SEO. Is that right? Well, I mean that well, I don't know there's not just one thing. Like it's a combination. So if you think of SEO, sure. you know, as a group of signals, right? What's the algorithm? The algorithm looks for different signals to rank something. So sure. you want some signals are bigger than others. Well, you URL you domain. So, so yeah, like, ha like if you can't have that, like, will you not rank? No, you might. Um, but it's like, you have a better chance if you do have it in there. Um, Fair. See, and especially now different cities are different. Like with Long Island, it makes a big difference. Um, and then having the services areas in there and then also um, the description and all that stuff together, like you have a fully optimized listing. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And this is, this is pretty, pretty interesting because like probably for 75%, 80% of the, um, of the clients you're going to handle, will be like clear, obvious, like this town, that town, but Long Island's kind of a, a interesting phenomenon, right? Because it's got unique um, names and geography because it's right next to New York city. It's like, like only a couple miles from Queens. 
yet it's like a whole other world there. So I think what I would say is I know it's important that you understand the geography, at least at a basic level of how people refer to their area. Um, and so that you could have the right keyword here, right? Because it could be like a, of Nassau County and that would be totally normal to say in Long Island, say of Nassau County. But if you were to say of New York County in New York City, people would be like, get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you definitely gotta know the area. So now yeah. there's one more thing that a lot of people don't take advantage of that makes a big difference. And, and Google My Business now gives you the ability to use posts. And a lot of really? businesses aren't taking advantage of this. And you can actually put your keywords in here. And we've moved listings by just putting posts in Google My Business. So essentially, like since, what was that thing called? Google. Um... So if you go over to the left right there and hit post. Okay, you so, can create an offer. I yeah. know that. So it's created a post. So um, let's, let's just pause that. Get out of that. Yeah. So uh, just go right here and create your first post. Now you should have a picture, right? Of um, you should have a picture, right? Do you? Have did you email me a picture, right? Joe? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Yeah, it looks like you did. Let me uh, let me pull that up one second. So, just while I'm pulling this up, remember, what was that thing called? Before Google, my before it was called Google My Business. What what were they calling it? Google Places. Google Places. Yeah. So Google Places. Uh, and then like what was like the Google Facebook copy when the Google tried to copy Facebook? Google Plus. Yes. Yes. Google Plus allow you to do posts, but then they knocked that out. Right. And then now that I guess it's back. Yeah. Well, it's yeah with the Google My Business you can do it now. So. Yeah. Okay, let me, I'm going to download this photo. Um, bear with me. Okay, cool. All right, now I'm going back to the thing we were just on. Hold on. So what's cool about this post is that you can add a video or you, you can add a video or a photo. So what I like oh, to video? do is like if I'm getting a new client, I like to add like one to two posts a week that are keyword rich, that are photos and videos. And I find like the more activity, the more content mm -hmm. I put on the Google My Business, the better it ranks. So like yeah. if you just click on that camera right there, you could stick your, po you, know, you can just stick the- Where's this camera? Oh, here, right in the center. Okay, you Either cool. drag so... and drop that photo there or you can select the, the file from your computer. Okay, this looks good. And then you can um, put something in the post like, you know, hey, um, you know, this is a, you know, here's a picture of a home we just finished painting in Long Island, you know, or, or let's say we want to go after uh, not Long Island, say but we want to rank for Suffolk County or a certain city. You say so proud. Um, I'm so just kind of having painting, fun with You want to put painting in there? You don't want to put off X, like you want to write the post. You don't want XXX or XYZ there. Um, and you don't have to put the street, right? Yeah. So this triple is really, X, we just want the keywords in here. Um, trip, triple X Mint is kind of like what real estate agents say in, uh, in New York City when they're talking about the condition or a paint job and stuff like that. This um, beautiful. Right. I don't know. I would take, I would just take that out. That way you don't confuse the word beautiful. No, the XXX. No, it's out. Oh, X, it's, oh, yeah. it's definitely yeah. out. It's not like a, uh, a triple X living room. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So proud to finish up painting this beautiful uh, living room in Roslyn. Uh, here it is. Just as a good one. We particularly love the crown molding. Um, you could also put something in there like, you know, we've been, you know, this is just one of the houses or something having to do with we've been painting in Long Island for 50 years, right? Our company's been painting Long Island homes for over 50 years. You know, give us a call. 
um, if you'd like a free estimate. So you could totally put that in the post. So that way now we have painting in Long Island again, and then we have like a call that, and then we actually can add a button there. No, okay. You want to do like, we've been, you say we have been doing this for over 50 years, but we want to put, we've been painting homes in Long Island for over 50 years. The, ah, there you go. want see, the keyword painting. See, I got the creativity, Island. but you've got the optimization. Okay. That's good, Joe. We've been painting homes and how about on the north shore no just no in long yeah. island because we're staying consistent north shore by the way right. is like a term well because we want our main keywords long island that we're going after so the other thing is like now as we do posts we don't always do the same one but you know this is the first post so we want to get that in there in the first post but joe should we add a button here or no yeah you can add a button uh, I guess book. Uh, nah, they don't book from here. What about learn more? Learn, learn more. more. Okay, that's good. Okay, and then maybe there's like, what's the link? Uh, yeah, learn the more. Website just colorbright. It's just um, colorbright.com. Okay. Well, so this right. looks good, man. Can we publish this or what? Yeah, just hit publish. I'm I'm pretty proud of myself right now. It's my first Google thing. Your first post. There it is. All right, excellent. Post, so this is the, yeah, the post you're gonna be putting a lot of posts up, and um, the main reason for putting these up is obviously to put content and put relevancy for your listing. Yeah, I imagine that. Like, I have this like idea, and I give Google a lot of credit for being smart. But my my thought or my idea is like, if I'm Google and I'm thinking about, obviously it's a machine or algorithm. I, I'm I'm clear that no one the Google, no one's thinking about painting companies and where they should rack, rank them in the three pack. But I'm thinking like, all right, all things equal, right? Like all the keywords are the same. Everything's filled out before, like we said, like a company that's posting with keywords and new photographs on a weekly basis, they've got to be like a more credible and relevant company for me to show my customers. So I'm going to rank them up higher. Is this something seems to be like pretty yeah, well, logic? Yeah, it, well, it's that. It just shows that they're more active, they're more engaged. And also it does help you like if someone's looking for a painting company and maybe they they have a high-end home and you have some really nice posts with some of your, um, maybe some videos and some pictures of what oh, you've done. Oh, so true. I never even thought about that. And you have reviews that. like, it just makes you look more credible as a business. Eggs, that's totally it, right? Can you, like, I'm just trying to think to myself, like in the phone book, unless you're buying like one of those double truck ads, like you're not even going to be able to like fit much, many images or anything like that in there. You can just do like cheesy text. But with Google, my business, if you're taking advantage of posts, not only will it help your ranking, but I can definitely see how it would help your conversion, which I did not have any idea that that was possible. So Dude, I'm really glad I actually walked this through with you, man. Anything else? Let's, I mean, to me, no, man, I, I mean, feel like I got all the bullets in a gun right now, but I'm sure there's more. Anything that you wanted to say or what? No, man, I think this, this, this pretty much, I think this should give you a good idea and something that you can definitely talk with clients about. Um, so that's, um, yeah, man, that's about it. I, man, I really kind of, I'm just thinking for myself, like right now, if I were going to build like, let's say an SEO, um, like I live in, let's say I live in Sullivan County, New York, right? Like Sullivan County SEO. I'm thinking to myself, what photographs would I choose? Would I do like screenshots of number one ratings on my Google, my business listing? You know, I'm just like trying to, I'm getting creative because, you know, I'm an artist. Mm -hmm. You're like, yeah, yeah, well, don't get too I mean, creative. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I mean, you could do like, yeah. I mean, you. It, it's whatever pictures, like for the post, you could just put results you've had you know, you can make a little video about SEO. Like there's a lot of different things that, that, that you can uh, put on there. You're, you're right. I keep on, I'm for, keep on forgetting about the video. It'd be really, cause you know, you could put on results yeah. like, Hey, look, we just got this client ranked, you know, Hey, look, we just yeah. did this. Hey, look, here's a picture. We just, you know, this, this client just increased their call, you know, their leads by like 50% last month. You know, so like yeah. you could, you could show a lot of that stuff in there. Mm. I kind of almost, Joe, I'm, I think 
I think I'm going to make my own Google, my business for like SEO in, in where I live. And I kind of want to see what happens. Like I'll make a basic site, but I, I really, I'm, you got me really interested in doing this right now. Well, there you go, man. All right. Well, that sounds good. Um, okay, cool, man. Well, Joe, I got to tell you, thanks for going through with me, man, because I really did learn a lot and I had a very good time, like thinking cool ideas. And now I, and now I could actually, here's what like the value is for sales, just so you know, is that when I, there's so many things that I want to do when I look at someone's account and give them like a value video, which is something that we do in sales machine when we're preparing something, we, you know, we gotta, I gotta come into a call with someone like letting them know that I know what I'm talking about in some capacity. Like right. I, I look at certain things on their site and their rankings. But so now I have this new bullet in my gun in which I can go to their Google, my business and see if they're doing these things. And I could say like, these are important things to do. We do them for you. So yeah. that's pretty, that's pretty good. That's another bullet in the gun. All, All right, right, man. Sounds Thanks, good. Joe. All right. We'll talk to you later. Later, man. Bye.